Hey, what's going on? We are back here on the Pig Trail and joined in studio by Richard Davenport. I think this is like two weeks in a row, something like that, where you've been in studio. So uh, we appreciate it. I appreciate you. You doing all right? <laughs> okay, man. Let's talk about uh, <laughs> some uh, recent official visitors. And uh, here's the point. Uh, we got a commitment from Matteo Soli, defensive end. A lot of people know that name because he is a son of a former hog. And again, this is big news. It is uh, because he had over 50 offers. He had narrowed it, narrowed it down to Florida, Auburn, and Arkansas. But after this visit, he knew he wanted to be a Razorback. Obviously, his father, Jr., played at Arkansas in the mid-90s, uh, was all SEC nose guard. His mom is a graduate from the University of Arkansas, several other family members. So uh, you always felt, Ar uh, felt Arkansas would be in it to the end. And uh, obviously, Arkansas, Arkansas is his school of choice. I think he just felt comfortable with the coaching staff, and that was the main thing. Just uh, he felt at home, and and that's what you want when you're going to a, a school for four or five years. You got to feel comfortable and feel it at home. All right, Shamar Nash, a receiver, also committing to the Hogs, and I understand has a good relationship with Justin Stepp. That's always a plus, and uh, he also received other SEC interest. Rd. Yeah, I mean he was committed to Missouri, and uh, he's been committed to Missouri for quite some time. And you said it, uh, Justin Stepp. He said the main reason that he's a Razorback is cause of Justin Stepp, the receiver coach. Their relationship is about as good as you, you'll ever find a, a, you know, a player uh, coach prospect, I mean, player coach uh, relationship. And uh, just uh, Justin just relates very well to the kids and he definitely did that with uh, Shamar. And Shamar's a, a, a guy that is a four-star prospect, according to Tom Lemming, who uh, I respect so much. He's been in the business 41 years. He's a game changer, a guy that really has a, a, a great, great high-end uh, motor when it comes to speed. So uh, that's a very good pickup. Okay, trying to get another Tex hog here. This is a DB athlete, Josh Foster from Newton. He made an official visit. He did, and uh, he was very glad that he did. Uh, very, uh, very happy with uh, what he saw at Arkansas, and he's a guy that's an outstanding athlete, 6'2", about 180 pounds. He played quarterback last year and threw for over 30 touchdowns, and I think uh, over 40, tu 40 touchdowns total as far as rushing and, and passing. Outstanding athlete who, who could definitely maybe play both positions at, uh, in the defensive backfield, corner or safety. Okay, we know the RB area is crowded right now for Arkansas, but let's talk about the future. Class of 2019, also out of Newton, Darwin Barlow. Thoughts on him? Uh, he, he, he's a guy that wasn't <laughs> too, too, too thrilled about maybe visiting Arkansas initially. Coach Jeff Trailer, the running backs coach, really did a good job of convincing him to get on campus. And that's the number one, that's, we talk about this all the time, just get him on campus and you have an opportunity. And that's exactly what happened. He's glad he, he visited now. Very impressed with everything at Arkansas and the coaching staff, the facilities, just the Fayetteville, the campus. So uh, keep an eye on him. He's got, a, he's got more than 20 offers. A very impressive offer list, but I think Arkansas is in play with him right now. Okay, cornerback Bobby Wolf from Houston, Madison, and I understand this guy is highly touted. Yeah, 6'3", about 180-pound cornerback who was cur uh, used to be committed to Texas A&M back in February, reopened his recruiting in March, and uh, he's got ties to the state of Arkansas. His grandfather's uh, from Little Rock, several other family members. They're all Razorback fans, so that helped. But I'll tell you what, Mark Smith, you were talking about uh, player-coach relationship. Mark Smith has done a great job recruiting him. The trenches now, Carl Williams, a D-tackle from Lufkin, class of 2019. Man, he's a good-looking kid, 6'4", about 324, carries it very well. He, he said uh, Arkansas is like no other visit he's ever, he's ta ever taken. So that, that sounds promising. I think he's going to be a Razorback. That's, no, that's just my opinion. He didn't say that, but he's a guy that's a, a run stop, a stopper and a guy that could definitely uh, play the zero or one technique uh, down low in the in defensive line. But uh, he, he, going forward, he doesn't know where, he, where he's going to visit go, uh, uh, going forward. But I do, do know one thing. Arkansas is very high on his list now. All right, there is that wow factor with the Chad Morris offense. Uh, Trey Knox, a guy that they're looking at. He's a receiver from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Yeah, it's exactly why he's visiting because of the uh, offense. He's very, very attracted to the uh, our offense and, and how they get the ball to the wide receivers and then let the receivers make plays. He's a guy that could do that. He's a, a guy that looks like a tight end, but he's a wide receiver. 6'5", 210 pounds, put together very well. He got in town on Friday. I mean, on Friday. He left today, and he's a guy that uh, I think Arkansas going, uh, will, will be in the running for uh, 
all the way to the end. Let's close now with Marcus Major from Oklahoma City, a running back, and Barry Lunny Jr. and Jeff Trailer really high on this guy. Yeah, I tell you what, I, I, I think this guy is, is, is a potential first-year player in the SEC. I don't, I don't think you even worry about him redshirting if he decides to be a Razorback. But uh, he and his dad made the visit, and they definitely just felt at home. Arkansas, the t two times they visited, they just feel like it's, it's one of the best places they've been to. And I think, uh, again, Arkansas is in good shape with him. All right, my man, R.D., as always, appreciate you. Thanks, Okay, buddy. Richard Davenport, Whole Hog Sports, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. More of the pig trail after this.